Hey everybody, it's Danny here with a review on a item that I picked up from Target. Um, actually ordered it from their website. I saw this a few weeks ago and there was a display of it, but they didn't have any in stock when I had went on a recent um, trip to Indiana. So um, I did order this from the website. I believe it was $20. And it's the Sonia Kashuk um, Eye on Dazzle palette. And um, this is number 03, or Eye on Dazzling color, sorry. Um, this is an instructional palette, so it does have a little tray that pulls out underneath here and has some different looks or suggestions for looks that you can do with the colors in the palette. So there's three different looks here. Um, the shades are um, all shimmery. Um, some have some glitter in them, as you can see the different colors here. Um, but I will swatch these for you so you can see if this might be something that you're interested in and could order it off of the website from Target.com. Um, she does have another palette out that I have, and it's called the Eye on Eyes on New or Eye on Neutral. It's palette number 02. And then there's another one. I think it's called like Eyes on Fall or something like that. But this is the Eyes on Neutral, and I really like it. It's got a lot of nude, all matte shades, so I like that one. Um, and so I guess we'll just go ahead and get started with the swatches. I'll swatch all of the colors here. Um, there's 12 colors in the palette and they're numbered and I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. If I get it up maybe really, really close, you can see there's a one, two, three, all the way through 12. Um, so in the little instructional book, it'll give you like you shade one in the crease and then, you know, three for the, you know, highlight color or whatever. So you know, that helps if you're just beginning, but um, I'm going to go ahead and swatch the colors here, and I'll go from top to bottom. That brown was very, very soft. I could feel it crumbling underneath my fingers, and you can see it's very, very soft there. So here are the first four colors swatch. So there is a bright white shimmery highlight. There is a plummy, like a burgundy purple. Here's this brown, which is really 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 soft um, it's got like a bronzy it's a bronzy gold I guess and then this last one is a really deep dark brown so there are the first four shades there um, I'm not just jumping up and down about the pigmentation uh, of this one here the second color let me try it again and see if I can't get a little bit better color payoff it swatches well it just doesn't transfer as as thick on the skin is you know but I mean this is with no primer no base no nothing so that's the first four colors there all right the second ones are very very shimmery um, you've got like a champagne shimmer oh they almost feel like they've got oil they feel very oily and look wet um, you got a purple feels the same way yeah they, they feel like they have a lot of oil oh my lord a lot of oil in them so there's the four colors there I, I'm not kidding when I say that like I don't think they um, are I mean they're oily like they're literally wet to the touch I don't know if you can see the moisture on my skin um, there's what's left on my finger after the swatches so they've got some decent pigmentation but I don't know what they would do to another shadow seems like it would make them smear maybe but they're very pretty you've got the champagne color here the purple that matches this one really well this one is kind of like a um, grayish brown taupey color and then you've got your this is like a charcoal gray with a lot of sparkle but they don't transfer like um, opaque or anything like that they're just like a sheer coat to the top that you could put on. Alright, so here's what's left over after I wipe my hands off as you can see all that glitter. So they are very, very glittery. <laughs> so stay away from this if you don't like glitter, which it doesn't bother me, but I know a lot of people like more of the matte or silky shadows and no glitter. So that is a warning to all of you who don't like it. This one does have it. Alright, ooh, that color was very pretty. Here's the last four. They seem to have decent pigmentation. Um, and then a sparkling black. So you've got a true taupe right here on the top a beautiful um, kind of really deep purple blue color um, a gorgeous 
emerald green and then a black with silver shimmers in it. So I'll swatch those four right here. And the brown one, as you can see, it's got chunks of color in it, so you'll have to go over that one. And again, this is on my skin with my finger applying it, so I don't know what difference it would make with a brush and a um, primer, because I always use a primer. It doesn't matter, a base or primer or something. So um, that last column does have some pretty decent pigmentation. The black is not nearly as pigmented as I thought it would be. Um, I'll try it again here with a little bit heavier swatch. So, yeah, I mean, that one could be definitely built up. So it's got some pretty jewel tones in the palette. Um, overall, for $20, I think that um, going with a Wet n' Wild palette, you're getting more bang for your buck as far as pigmentation goes. But um, I know there are a lot of Sonia Kashuk lovers out there, and um, I don't regret buying this palette by no means. Um, I'm sure I'll use it a few times, especially these. I'm curious to see how these do on, a, on top of a shadow. And just for um, demonstration purposes. Let me see how that does. Oh, it actually makes it really pretty if you put it over top of the other shadows. I'm going to put this um, taupey color right here over top of this brown and see how that does. Yeah, so it's transforming it and making it look really pretty. It doesn't seem to be making the shadow fade or smear, so those are very interesting. Um, I'll do one more here, this top color. I'm going to put this over top of that beautiful green and see what it does to it. Look at that. That's kind of neat, actually. So, huh. You got to try things differently every now and then. <laughs> so, um, anyway, just wanted to share that palette with you very quickly and let you see my initial thoughts on it. And um, thank you for watching this video. Please, please, please subscribe and watch my other videos as I've got some giveaways going on. So, Everybody loves free stuff, right? I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.